Hey, what's up everybody? J-Ho here with another Escape from Tarkov video. This time I really wanted to dig in to the differences for the tip of the gun. There is muzzle brakes, there is suppressors, flash hiders, compensators. It can all be really confusing to a lot of people, but we want to make sure that we all are informed. And we know what we're doing when we mod our gun and what the actual differences are in game. So I went ahead and I was actually looking on YouTube to try to find some information out about it and I really couldn't find much. So as I was looking through YouTube, I kind of gave up and I did a few tests myself, did a little bit of research myself. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share the results with you. If you guys find the video helpful, please go ahead and click the like button. It actually helps me out a ton as far as the YouTube algorithm goes. And you can leave a comment down below that helps as well. Just letting me know if you liked the video, if you didn't like the video. Heck, if there's some things that you want me to sit down and research about, I'm more than happy to do it and help you guys out because that's what this game's about. It's about building a community. So make sure to click the subscribe button, turn on notifications for future content. So where we're going to go is going to going to go into the weapon parts and mods, functional mods, and muzzle device. The first one here is going to be your flash hiders and your brakes. So right here is actually two uh, that are right next to each other. We'll go ahead and we'll open these two up. They're set up for actually the same type of ammo, same type of gun. Now one thing that you will notice is that they do have different specs with them. So they will both act differently. The good news is with a flash hider and a muzzle brake, you can put a suppressor on top of these. Um, so with a certain suppressor, when you put it on top of this, it then uh, it gives you more added modability. I don't know if that's a word. If it isn't, I just made it up. Go with it. Um, so as you can see, that can definitely help your gun in the long run as both of these will provide different recoil disadvantages essentially like bringing that down ergonomics uh, accuracy is what you'll see in these so really in most cases you're going to want the muzzle brake because the muzzle brake is going to essentially do what the flash hider does but a little bit better now when you use a flash hider the big difference between the flash hider is if you are running nvgs your night vision goggles or you're using a gun like this, for example, the SA-58 does have a lot of muzzle flash. And when you're looking down your scope, sometimes it can be really hard to see. So when you do use the flash hider, that can actually reduce the flash in your face. So it is gonna be gun by gun. And as you're playing, if you, uh, I know I have this happen with like the Colt and 1911, that one is everywhere. Um, there is a lot of guns out there that there is just a ton of muzzle flash. Um, so you definitely want to look at your flash hiders for that visual benefit. Obviously that is huge and that's something you can't put a number on. If your gun doesn't have that, um, the muzzle brake is typically where you're going to want to go is right into a muzzle brake almost every time, just because you get more, you get more advantages. As you can see, this is for the same gun. You get an extra percent of recoil or, uh, accuracy and you get a little bit of reduction in recoil, same muzzle velocity. So everything other than that, really this one. So like if you're muzzle adapters. So the adapters for the most part are going to be what you'll put on the gun to connect to a suppressor when you put that on there. Um, so like this one, you'll put on the Mosin and then there's nothing else that changes. There are a few of these as you go through them that will actually have different um, specs like this one right here now if you put this one on a uh, 12 gauge shotgun this actually reduces the recoil tremendously huge huge amount that that can actually reduce it now this is a muzzle brake this one i don't believe that you can put a suppressor on it uh, it would have a box down here if you could um so since you can't put the suppressor on top of this one obviously you know this is one that you would just run by itself so when you are looking at this the good way to tell if you can actually put a suppressor on is when you see this device right here. Like the ones that we were actually looking at up here, 
didn't have that, so you wouldn't be able to put that on them. Um, so those would be ones that you can run by yourself. But if you just click on them, you'll see of whether or not you can put it on. Now this one obviously will allow you to put it on. Uh, and you can see, essentially when you look at it, you'll tell that they're thinner and they typically have something that it looks like that the device mounts back to. Um, so keep that in mind as you're going through them. The muzzle adapters, these are essentially the same as you can find muzzle brakes and such as well in here. So when you do have the muzzle adapter, again, you can find items in here such as brakes and such as well that can do essentially the same thing that we talked about. The big thing is the adapters can allow you to put suppressors on. So the next thing we'll get into will be our suppressors. Now the suppressors obviously are bread and butter. Uh, this will actually make your weapon much, much quieter and harder to hear so that way you don't have all of those chads chasing you around trying to kill you. With these, you do obviously have the attachments that uh, the, the muzzle adapters and there's different flash hiders and stuff that you can attach them. So you'll have to play around and you can actually link search. Like if you go to the one that we had earlier here, uh, and you just link search this, it will show you what suppressor can actually go on top of that. And then you can kind of weigh it out there. You are going to have to play around with it a little bit to find out which ones you personally like the best and what ones give you the most added benefit per weapon. Of course, you're gonna need to do that. Um, I can let you know at the end some of my favorite ones. Uh, we'll do that here shortly. But as far as the suppressor goes, I wanna let you know that I did do some testing and it doesn't really matter which suppressor you run as far as distance, loudness per se. They are all gonna be very, very similar. If it says suppressor, they're all basically treated the same. I wish that they would maybe update this a little bit so that in the future, when you have a sound suppressor that it can be a little bit different per, so then that way you choosing your suppressor might mean a little bit more. That's definitely something that they should work on. I think that would be awesome if they added that in. They've already added in so much to this game. Why not do a little bit more tweaking on this? I know that there is a ton to go to get this game released, uh, but we're just asking for a little bit extra so uh but basically that's what a flash hider is that's what a muzzle brake is that's what your suppressor is and that's also how you can connect them to your guns and to notify which ones go where so as you're going through here and you're trying to find out which gun or which suppressor works with your gun you can just click on it you can always link search but you can go down here to where it says compatible with and you just hover over it it'll tell you which weapons of yours this is actually compatible with if you look in the description, it typically tells you the type of ammo that it uses. So keep in mind what ammo your gun uses, and that could probably give you a pretty good idea of which one that you're going to be using. So hope you found all of this helpful. My favorite silencers, uh, suppressors to use in the game here. So the first suppressor that we have here, this is going to be the Silencero Hybrid 46 Multi-Caliber Silencer. This one is usually a very good go-to silencer. This one can actually be with the adapters. This can go on most weapons. Um, so this one is actually super, super uh, good to know about. So I would always keep this one in mind. And you know whether you switch guns, you can pop it off of one in raid, put it right on another one. If you want to maybe go dump a gun for insurance, but you want to keep the suppressor, this is actually very, very helpful for that um, in that regard. So keep that in mind. This one is definitely one that you should definitely know about. And if you don't know which one to use, this is a good choice always. Now, if you are using the PP-19, which I suggest using the PP-19 if you're new or you're early to the game and just go in, bring in a bunch of ammo in there, typically the PST GZH. The PP-19 doesn't have much recoil, not much flash. It's a very good gun, just doesn't have the best ammo, of course. So basically what you need to do is if you run into somebody with the face shield, just shoot them in the leg, do the leg meta, uh, you'll get the kill that way. Um, but this suppressor here is probably my favorite suppressor for that type of ammo. Uh, it does have a very large reduction in recoil. And I, I think that this one really, really helps, especially if you got a good gun. 
Um, so this is probably my best suggestion for that type of weapon. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to leave any comments that you have down below. I'll make sure to go through and respond to as many of them as I can. Uh, I typically always respond to every of them um, because I don't really get a whole ton. So I appreciate your feedback, uh, your understanding, and any ideas that you might have uh, in the future too. So definitely appreciate that. Uh, make sure to leave a like. That helps me out tremendously. And if you made it this far in the video, uh, definitely leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, so uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.